Welcome to the black screen. This is Black Friday again. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> black Friday. No, teacher. A second yeah, Black Friday. <laughs> the second Black Friday. My goodness. So what, what are you going to buy, Rodrigo? <laughs> hmm? I, I'm gonna buy uh, a little coffee cup with uh -huh. the <laughs> With a piece of semita. <laughs> ah, okay. Big piece of semita and a big yeah. coffee for Black Friday. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's nice. Good. Now, welcome back to everybody. Juan Alfonso, Hilda, Vicky, Adonai. So, uh, welcome to a new class, right? We're early today. Yes. Exactly on time, right? Eight o'clock. So, uh, let's just start working. Uh, Anna is not connected, but she said that she had problems with some exercises. And I want to know, let me see, anybody else here? Uh, Brenda, Brenda and, um, and Anna, they have some questions, right? But if you want later, we can go back to those questions, right? Now let's start with the, with the test exam, right? And we're going to check together. Ladies and gentlemen, the test. Section three, midterm test, right? Okay, let's just start with letter A. Listening, right? Please, if you have questions, tell me, right? That's the idea. That I will give answers to all your questions, right? All your questions. Uh, what is the listening hey. part, the reading part? What is the meaning of the life? <laughs> All the what questions. What are the correct answers to? Uh huh, correct. The correct answer, right? The but, correct answers. But you are going to jump in that conclusion, right? Not me, you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just start with the first one, right? So, listening. Uh, it says, listen to the conversations. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacation. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacation, right? So listen and check the correct answer, right? So let's just start with the first one. Lisa visited what? Australia, Austria, or Korea? Three country, right? Two, one in, in, in Oceania, right? Austria is in, in Europe, right? And Korea is in Asia. How was the weather? Good, okay, or bad? Peter visited what? Indonesia, India, or Italy? How was the weather? Good, okay, or bad? Okay, only that, simple like that. So let's just start with the listening and let me see. I will play one time and later I will play it again, right? And then um, I will help you repeating what they say, right? So listen for the first Lisa time. and Peter are talking about vacations. Listen and check the correct answers. So Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well, yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool, and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No, but I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow. What did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? Both good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking, but other days were cold and wet. But I still love the trip. Okay. Now we're going to try something different. The first time I will read for you, and then you are going to repeat after me, right? Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations. Listen and check the correct answers. So, Lisa. So, Lisa. Where did you go for your vacation? Where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It I went to Australia. It, it was my first time there. 
It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy it? Well, yes and no. Well, yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but... I wanted to go surfing, but... But the waves were really scary. But the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool. Cool. And it rained for two whole days. And it rained for two days. That's terrible. So you... That's terrible. So you... You didn't surf? You didn't surf? No. No. But I visited lots of museums. But I visited lots of museums. And saw some movies. And saw some movies. So, so, well, excuse me. I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. And saw some movies. Uh, saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. I went to Italy. Wow. Wow. What did you do there? What did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. I took a trip. Mm, sorry. Yes. Wow. What did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. I took. Uh, I don't, sorry, I don't catch it. Give me a second, give me a second. I took a walking trip in the Alps. I took a trip and walk in the Alps. Mm -hmm. How was the weather? How was the weather? Both good and bad. Both good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days were sunny and warm. Some days were sunny and warm. Perfect for walking. Perfect for walking. But other days were cold and wet. But other days were cold and wet. But I still love the trip. But I still love the trip. Okay, now. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacation. Let's review again the questions. Lisa visited. Australia, Australia, Austria, or Korea, right? No, no, no. Sorry, sorry, teacher. <laughs> okay. No, sorry. Rolando, listen, right? Ya escucho Rolando. Sorry. Come on. Rolando is, listen, he's trying to catch the idea, right? And to get the answers. Be careful, right? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Hey, you see? <laughs> okay. Good. How was the weather, right? And Peter visited what, where? And how was the weather again, right? Now we're going to make a challenging exercise, right? You are going to repeat after the audio, right? And if you don't know, I will help you, right? And let's just start with Rolando. Please, Rolando, listen and repeat. Oh, what happened here? Just give me a second. I had a trouble here. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations. Listen and check the correct answers. Listen and repeat, Rolando. Okay. So, Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? So, Lisa, where are you from on vacation? Where did you go? Where do you go on vacation? For your vacation. Oh. For your vacation. Repeat, please. For your where vacation. You Mm -hmm. For vacation. Where did you go? Where did for, you go? For your vacation. For your vacation. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Orlando. Now, Hilda, please listen and repeat. I went to Australia. I went to Australia. Good. Rodrigo. It was my first time there. It was my first time there. Good. Excellent. Give me a second here. Um, good. Now, Juan Alfonso, you're next. Juan Alfonso, ready? Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy it? Excellent. 
Adonai, please, you're next, Adonai. Listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Well, yes and no. Well, yes and no. Yes and no, right? Very good, my goodness. I thought it was more difficult. Pensé que les iba a costar más, but I see you, you're a good listener, right? Nice. Eh, Rolando, you're next again, please. I wanted to go surfing, but... I want to teach. One more time, please. Teacher, please. Okay, one more time. I wanted to go surfing. I wanted to do surfing. I wanted. I wanted to go surfing. To go surf surfing. Surfing, yes. Very good. Surfing. No. All right. Yes. Now, Hila, please. But the waves were really scary. But the way is very scary. Uh -huh. But the waves, you know, las olas, right? The waves were uh -huh. very... But the waves is very scary. Were very scary, right? Like scary movie, you know? Scary, <laughs> yes. Okay, very scary, right? Good, thank you. Rodrigo. It was often very windy. It was often very windy. Okay, very good. Now, Juan Alfonso, please. Listen. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool. The weather? Weather is... Was? Was? Was. Uh -huh. Again, again, right? It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool. No, teacher. No, no. One more time. If you don't know, don't worry. Don't worry. I will repeat for you. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool. The water is mm -hmm. very cloudy. Uh huh. And cool. And very good. The weather was only was right. Was uh, was cloudy. Uh huh. And cloudy. You know, nublado, right? And cool. Cool, right? Okay. Now, Adonai, ready, Adonai. Listen and repeat. And it rained for two whole days. Again, again. And again. Wait, give me a second. And it rained for two whole days. And the rain for two days. Oh, almost right. And it rained. It's raining for two days. It it rained in past tense, right? It rained. It rained uh, for two the, days. The wall. Listen. Can two whole days. That's terrible. Wait, wait, so wait. you didn't see. It was pretty cloudy and cool. Listen. And it rained for two whole days. Uh -huh. And it rained. And it rained. For two. For two. Whole days. Whole days. Whole days. W-H-O-L-E. W-H-O-L-E. Wall. Wall. That means com completo, total. Wall. Whole days. Wall days. Or dos días completo, right? The wall, two wall days. Two wall okay. days. Good. Now, Silvia, we are making an exercise, Silvia. You listen and repeat, right? Listen and repeat okay. the audio, right? Ready? It's very difficult, but you, you try. Listen and repeat. That's terrible. Again? Okay. Again, Silvia. Yeah. And it rained for Wait. two whole days. That's terrible. That's in a day. No, no. Or a few days. No, no. That that part no, right? Esa parte ya la dijo Adonai. Now you want to say that's that's. Listen, listen, listen. That's two whole days. Listen. That's terrible. No. Ah, okay. That's terrible. Excellent. That's terrible, right? Le, es que le llega el sonido un poquito atrasado, ¿verdad, Silvia? No, teacher. Es no, que no. me equivoqué en decir... Ah, ok. Que no, 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 es que a veces por el internet el sonido no llega hasta después. Así como en, en la televisión, cuando hay un periodista en otro país, eh, el que está en, el, en la estación le, le, le dice el mensaje y, el, y luego el otro tarda en reaccionar, ¿verdad? Entonces, ok, pero no hay problema. Vamos a seguir. Ok, now. Claudia, hello, Claudia. We're listening and repeating, Claudia. Okay. Hello. 
Hello, listen and repeat, Claudia. Ah, ya se nos trabó. Sorry. <laughs> vamos, <laughs> vamos a salir. I'm sorry, Claudia. Give me a second. <laughs> Give me a second. Sorry. <laughs> Qué oso, ¿verdad? Ok. <risa> ok, give me a second. Vamos a adelantar aquí. And for two whole days. That's terrible. That's terrible. Ok, now, Claudia, listen and repeat. Ready? Ready. So you didn't surf? So you didn't surf? Mm. Repeat, please. Again. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? You? No. You? No, no. Wait, give me a second. You? That's terrible. You? So you didn't surf? You didn't? You didn't surf? Mm. Almost, almost. Casi, casi, Claudia. You didn't surf? Did, uh, didn't surf? Okay, good. You didn't surf, right? No surf. surf, surf, surf. Surf. Ah. Remember, she went to Australia, right? She went to Australia to uh, to go surfing, you know, and and but the waves were very big, and it, it was windy, cloudy, and cool. And uh, the the man is asking, so you didn't surf? Así es que no pudiste surfear, uh -huh. Okay, good. Now let me see uh, who's next. Uh, Vicky, hello, Vicky. We're making a very difficult exercise in this moment. You listen and repeat, right, Vicky? Okay, teacher. Okay, repeat, please. No, but I visited lots of museums. Again? But I listen. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Listen. No, but I visited lots of museums. Ah, uh, but I visit. Uh huh. Lots. Um... Lots. Lots museum. Excellent. Lots of museum, right? Muchos museos. No, mm -hmm. I, di, you didn't serve. No, she said. But I visited lots of museums. Josué, now listen and repeat. Josué, ready? Ready, Josué? Josué? Yes. Okay, listen and repeat, Josué. And saw some movies. And so? I, I okay, wait, 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 wait. Lots of museums. Now, ready? And saw some movies. The past tense of C, um, the past tense of C. Listen, listen. Museums and saw some movies. No, está difícil, ¿verdad? And so, so, C, Past tense, so, right? And so, some movies. Some movies. Uh -huh. so movie. Good. Now, the next part, Josue. Next part, Josue. But what about you, Peter? Uh-huh. One more time? One more time, okay. And saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? Ah, and what about you, Peter? Okay, very good. Excellent, right? So, I guess it's a no, right? Ya no lo voy a poner en aprieto porque este ejercicio está algo difícil, right? So, but now you can answer the listener, right? Lisa visited Australia, Austria, or Korea, right? Mm -hmm. Which one? And let me see. Uh, and check the correct answer, right? But what I don't, I don't know here in number four if uh, there are two possibilities, right? Uh, Rolando, listen, yeah. number four is only one possibility, Rolando, or two. Uh, only one, right? Teacher. No, I don't. Was the... uh -huh. well, okay, listen, this part. Give me a second, Rodrigo, give me a second. I only want to check this. Again, my goodness. Wait. Beer. Ah, oh, come on. Always. <laughs> <laughs> Travation. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> sorry, class. Sorry. Uh, it's not the same when, when you're alive, right? No es lo mismo que una clase en vivo, right? <laughs> okay. 
But I visited lots of museums uh -huh. and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow. What did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? Both good and bad. The How was the weather? Both good and bad, he said, right? Both, uh -huh. ambos, right? Ambo, bueno y malo, he said, right? Okay, so that part I don't understand. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains, he said. Some days were sunny and warm. Some days were sunny and warm, very good, right? And? Perfect for walking. Perfect for walking. But other days were cold and wet. But other days were cold and, and wet. But I still love the trip. Sorry, excuse me, excuse me. So, but I still love the trip, he said. So, it's the two. So, I don't understand this part, listen. Because uh, he said, Peter said that it was both good and bad, right? Good and bad, he says. So I don't know if you can check this and this, or you can check this. I don't know, sorry. But at least I, I we check the listening very carefully, right? Then you take the decision and submit, right? So I don't know if you have any extra question. And it's I, only one. One, okay. What is the question, Rolando? No, teach. No, no questions, oh, no, okay. No. And this part is re really easy because you only have to check, right? You don't have to write. You don't have to write, okay? Good. Now let me check something. Let me check something here. Uh, okay, uh, let me see. Brenda y, um, y Ana no se han conectado todavía, ¿verdad? Ok, es que ellas tenían algunas preguntas sobre la plataforma, entonces estoy pendiente que se conecten. Well, let's continue, right? Let's continue. Si ven que se conectan, ahí me avisan. <laughs> Brenda en, en Ana. Ok, now. Eh, number, num, letter B, right? Completing the conversations. Complete the following conversations. You need to finish up the WH question words. To finish up the W question words according to the response given, right? So according to the response, you are going to complete the, the, the question. Uh-huh. I guess that's what the let me see. Okay, good. Now question number one. How do you work out? Every day I am a real fitness freak. Okay. So uh, this is, well, we're talking about time, right? So we have three, one, two, three, four, right? One, two, three, four uh, words. Let me see to share the word here. Okay, let me check. How long did you play? How long did you, did you play? I play for two hours, for example, right? For two hours. So in this case, we're going to use long, long, right? Long. Next one. How well can you can you drive, for example, right? Can you drive? So in this case, you're going to say well, well, right? Well, look, can you drive? I drive very well. Muy bien, yo manejo muy bien, right? I drive very well. Now, uh, what is the other one? Give me a second, I want to see. Long, good, uh, often. How often, oh, sorry. Sorry, vamos a hacerlo aquí. How often 
do you go to the church? Most of you go, go on, on Sunday, Sunday, right? I, I, of, mm, I usually, usually go to the church, right? Go to the church. For example, this is just an example, right? So, but you say often, the frequency. So you're talking about extension of time here, extension of time. You're talking about how well do you can write, right? Que también maneja, right? And uh, the frequency here. Now, the last one. How good. How good, how good, right? Yes, thank you. How good are you at cooking, for example, right? Can you can you make coffee, cafe listo? Can you make <laughs> can you make maruchan? How good are you cooking? So you say, I am very good. Nunca se me ha quemado el agua. Okay, good. I am very good. So this is the way you say, right? Long extension of time. Well, the degree that you do something, el grado de, de, de habilidad que usted tiene en hacer algo, right? Often is frequency. La frecuencia con que hace algo, right? And good is, eh, que tan bueno es usted en algo, right? Okay? Now, oops. Me salí del todo. Just give me a second. Okay, here, right? So, how... So here we're talking about, listen, every day, right? Every day. ¿Qué estamos hablando aquí? No me contesten que es retórica la pregunta. Long, good, often, or well. So according to this, you're going to copy, right? For example, how long, or how good, right? Or how no, often. Sí. Or oh, how well. well, how well, according to what you, you uh, read here in the question. But remember, this is only with lowercase letter, minuscula, right? No period, no comma, nothing, just the word, right? Okay? Only the word. Good. So in this case, remember, the clue word is, la palabra clave is, every day, every day, right? Okay, now, next one. How well, how good, how often, or how, how long do you play tennis? And then it says, about average, el promedio, but I'm getting better, better, and better, right? Pero estoy mejorando, estoy mejorando, right? So, what is the word? Long, good, often, or well? Number three, just 30 minutes a day. Solo 30 minutos al día. Okay? So what are you using here? You using long, están hablando de qué tan largo es el tiempo, qué tan bueno es, qué tan frecuente o qué tan bien lo hace, right? So just 30 minutes, right? And number four, uh, you at soccer. Oh, I guess. Okay, I guess. It's not my really favorite sport. O sea, aquí le está preguntando qué tan... Bueno, que si yo la palabra le voy a dar la respuesta. <laughs> qué tan... Qué tan... Pi son ustedes en fútbol, right? <laughs> okay. Y aquí dice que, que, que el más o menos... Ok, dice, ¿verdad? No, 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 como no es su deporte favorito, él no es tan... tan... <laughs> ok, good. Do you understand? Any question? No question. Ok, ok. Now, let's go to number four. Num the second part, sorry. Choose the correct pass form of the verb given, right? 
The past form, right? Esto era la sección 2, ¿verdad? La parte 2. Sí, ¿verdad? Ok, good. Did you, did you, y está el verbo acá en paréntesis, right? Stay, right? Entonces lo vamos a poner, bueno, antes, antes de dar la respuesta, de ver la respuesta, eh, vamos a hacer un repaso, ¿yes? Yes. Uh, ok. Review, right? Para no quemarnos aquí, yes. Let me see. Ok. Here, right? Okay, let me see. Simple path, right? Affirmative. I stayed home yesterday. I went to the church la Sunday, right? La mayoría de veces la gente va los sábados, right? So this is affirmative, right? So what do you do? You change the verb from the simple present here. Oops. Stay to stayed, right? And go, go when to when. So we change the verb when it's regular and when it's irregular, right? Regular and irregular, okay? Now, in the negative, we use I did, I didn't stay home. Yesterday, I go. Didn't, didn't go, go to the church last Sunday. Okay. So you use the auxiliary did plus the word not, and you make a contraction. You say didn't, right? And then. The verb doesn't change. Stay and go, right? In, in affirmative, yes. In negative, no, right? Now, in questions. Question. In this case, yes, no question. I will copy. Yes, no question. Yes. No, oops. No questions okay now did you stay home yesterday and then the question mark right then yes i did no i didn't okay this is the answer yes i did no i didn't right Okay, so this is when it's yes, no question. Now, did you go to the church last Sunday? You can change also with uh, he, she, they, right? And we always use the same, did, 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 right? We always use the same. Sunday. Okay. Did you go to the church last Sunday? Yes, I did. No. I didn't, right? Oops. Sorry. No, I didn't, right? Okay. So this is the yes, no question. And again, when you use the auxiliary, 
when you use the auxiliary, it's not necessary to change the verb, right? It's not necessary to change the verb. Don't forget that, right? Okay, now in WH questions, WH questions. So we says, uh, where did you stay yesterday? And then you says, I stayed home, right? Stay home. Stayed home, yes. And uh, where did you go last Sunday, right? I went to the church. Okay? I went to the church. So, but pay attention to the structure here, right? The structure is the auxiliary did, right? No, the, the W is where, where, uh, no, I wanna change this. Quiero cambiar esto, sorry. When did you go to the church? Vamos a ponerla aquí para cambiar. Did you go to the church? To the church, right? Uh, I went. No, si sería, verdad? When I went on. I went last Sunday. Sí, aquí está. Ya, ya tiene. Ya leíamos la lógica. I went last Sunday, right? Okay, good. So, WH question. Where did you go? Where is the WH word, right? That refers to place in this case, right? And when refers to time, right? So where did you go? Did you stay, sorry, donde te quedaste? Stayed home, home, right? It's a place. When did you go to the church? Last Sunday, it's time, right? When, it's time, right? And again, we use the auxiliary did, and then the verb doesn't change, right? Stayed, go, right? Good. So, you can capture the, the screen if you want. Pueden hacerle una captura de pantalla si quieren ahorita. Yes. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Yes. Yes. En todo eso, eh, vamos a ver si se ha conectado Brenda. y yeah. yeah. No se han conectado, ¿verdad? Ok. Quería despejar esas dudas ahora, pero no se han conectado. Ok. Good. Ready? Capturaron la pantalla ahí? Yes? Yes, teacher. Thank okay, good, yes, good. teacher. Okay, good, good. Now, uh, let's go to the, to the, to the exam, right? Uh, did you, now this is a question, right? So, the question is, are you going to change the verb, yes or no, right? Ahora son preguntas retóricas, ya no, ya no me las contesten. <laughs> are we going to change, yes or no? So, you can say, stay or stayed, right? What did you, what did you do or what did you did? <laughs> okay. Good. Number three. I go, I, I go, I go, el, <laughs> I go el, and I went. No estamos viendo la plataforma, teacher. Ah, oh, sorry, excuse me. Yo bien inspirado con las <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Creo, creo que nunca voy a poder dominar esto. Okay, now, can you, can you see now? Yes. Yes, okay. Pero ustedes no me detienen, me, yo bien inspirado y... <laughs> okay, now, again, right? Number one, did you stay, right? So, are you going to change the verb stay, yes or no? So, you say stay or stay, right? Number two. What did you do or what did you did? Did or do, right? You change the verb, yes or no, right? And I go. I go it or I went? Creo que la respuesta clue. es bastante obvia. T-shirt, no. t-shirt. Qué más pista. New clue. Qué más pista, ¿verdad, Rolando? Ahí está facilísimo. T-shirt. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
dancing of the new know, clue. Uh, again, right? Oh. Me persigue esta. But I want to clarify. Quiero clarificar esto desde ya. Un dance club en Estados Unidos es donde van las parejas a bailar. Yes? A bailar como hasta los amigos también, ¿verdad? Y un dance club en El Salvador es donde bailan unas señoras, solo unas señoras. Con una ropa strip. con una ropa muy cómoda, pero solo, es, solo las señoras bailan, no baila nadie más. En cambio, los dance club en Estados Unidos bailan las parejas, ¿verdad? Música sana y todo, ¿ok? ¿Está claro? <ríe> Lo mismo sucede con la palabra motel. Eh, usted puede agarrar a su familia y puede ir a, a hacer un viaje y se queda en un motel. Y ahí junto con los niños y la esposa y todo, ¿verdad? Pero en El Salvador, motel es different, right? Es, tiene un diferente uso, así que para evitar confusiones. No. I don't, I don't know. Okay, you don't know, I'm sure. You don't know, Rolando, I'm sure. Now, number four. Oh, really? Says, yes, we... This is affirmative, look. And are you going to change the verb, yes or no? Had it or had? Number five. Where? Ah, this is the verb to be. What is the past tense of verb to be for you? Where or being? Where or being, right? Now, and uh, again, the verb to be. I, where or I was. Esto lo vimos, ¿verdad? Pero no sé si se recuerdan cuando usamos was y where. ¿Está claro eso? Sí, sí, sí okay. teacher. Ok, good. No problem. No necesito ir a la, a la, a la pizarra entonces. Ok. Actually, no. I met my friend there. We, affirmative. So, in affirmative. Can we change the verb in affirmative? So, you say, right? Spend it or spent. Right? Is a regular or irregular verb, right? Ok. So I don't know if you have any questions so far. My goodness, no está comiendo el tiempo. So now, let's go to letter C. Letter C. Choose the correct answer, right? Choose the correct answer. Excuse me, is there a gas station? Remember we were learning about the, the place, right? Location, right? And then here, uh, also we were learning about any, some, One, right? Ok, good. Uh, aquí sí que creo que voy a hacer un pequeño review. Déjenme ver. Some, many, a few, a little, many, much, one. Yes, ok. Vamos a ver aquí. Yes. Oh. Let's go one by one, right? We use any in negative <laughs> statement, right? Statements. And in questions. In negative statement and in question, right? We use ah ya se me movió aquí. Sorry. We use Some for a affirmative, affirmative, and in some questions when you when you are asking or or you are offering something. Cuando ofrecemos algo y cuando cuando pedimos algo, verdad? Pero generalmente solo es en afirmativo, right? Good. Some and any, and they mean the same, right? Significa lo mismo, right? We use one, one for, uh, sorry, ah, sorry, se me pierde el, oh, okay, yeah, see, here, right, for singular countable noun, right, singular countable noun, right, one house, One car, one, right? Like, like the number, right? 
And then, let me see. Good. Um, no puedo moverlo. Realeme un segundito. Yes. No, no puedo moverlo. Bueno, ok. Vamos a cerrarlo un ratito. Sorry, lo vamos a cerrar un ratito porque ya, ya se me olvidaron las otras palabras. Son, any, one, ah, much, many, a few, a little, right? Ok, good. Sorry. Hoy sí, vamos. Vamos a ver si ahora me recuerdo. A few is just just for countable noun, right? Countable nouns. And a little is used for non-countable nouns. Okay? It's the non? Non-countable nouns. Countable and non-countable, right? Yes, understand? Okay, a few is unos cuantos, and a little is un poquito, right? Poquito. For example, I can say a few dogs, unos cuantos perritos, a few dogs, and a little water, y un poquito de agua, right? A little water, no? okay? Not much is used for non countable, non countable. Now, right? Vamos a dar ejemplos para que me entiendan aquí. Non countable nouns, negative. Non countable nouns, negative, right? Negative and questions too, right? Se usa también en preguntas, questions. Good. Next one. Many is used for Excuse me, for countable nouns, affirma, no, let me see, negative too, mm -hmm, negative, and it can be used in question, right? And finally, finally we have a, a lot, right? Bueno, a lot se usan todos. A lot is for countable Non-countable, negative, affirmative, and questions too, right? En todo se usa. Ok, y nos quedaba uno, ¿verdad? No sé si está ahí. No, en el... no, no, ajá, sí. non. ajá ahí Solo está, no. en la última. Aparece en la última, ok, excelente. Sí. Non means zero, right? Nada. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. No contable, no. No question, none is nada, right? No, ninguno o nada. Ah, yes. Esto sí lo podemos poner mejor. It can be used in contable and non contable. En ambos se usa, right? Podemos decir ninguno o nada, right? Y esto les va a sorprender. Non se usa en, en oraciones afirmativas. Affirmative sentence, right? ¿Por qué? Así como never. Yo digo, I never go to the beach, for example. Yo nunca voy a la playa. I never go to the beach. La oración es afirmativa. ¿Sí? Pero la idea es negativa. Porque uso never, right? Lo mismo sucede con non. I have none. Do you have, do you have, uh, do you have in a little water? No. I have none. Or do you have some apples? <laughs> eh, I have none. You see? So, entonces la oración es afirmativa, pero, pero la connotación, el significado es negativo, ¿sí? Pero gramaticalmente es una oración afirmativa. Okay. Good. Eh, ¿Le quieren tomar aquí una 
Capture pantalla, quiero ver si no me he equivocado aquí. Any negative in questions? Affirmative, one is singular, few is countable. Uh -huh. Much is for not countable, many for countable. Okay, yes, it's good. Now we have some example. For example, you say, uh, do you have any apples? No, I don't have any apples. Do you have any? See in the question here, apples? No, I don't have any. Do you have any apples? Yes, I have some apple, right? So any is for negative in questions and some is for affirmative, right? I have one house. I have a few uh, papayas. I have a little juice. I have a little juice. How much water do you drink every day? Right? Uh, and then you say, I don't drink much water. I don't drink much water. I don't drink much water. So using it, right? How many brothers do you have? I don't have many brothers. I don't have many brothers. No tengo muchos hermanos, right? Okay. Good. And a lot you can say how many how many oil do you need to cook? I need a lot. Or oh, I don't need a lot. Or oh, do you need a lot of oil? So we can use in everything, right? Good. So any question? Any question? So no, teacher. No, okay, good. Let's go to the platform, right? Hoy sí vamos a la plataforma. Now, there is, is there a gas station, right? And then you say, yes, there is. Ah, this is affirmative, right? And you're talking about one. Uh, oh, no, sorry, you're talking about uh, the gas station, right? The gas station, sorry. Entonces, ¿cuán, ¿qué número es la, la gas station? ¿De cuántas gas station estamos hablando? Me dijo la respuesta. No, dicho. no, no he dicho la respuesta. No, ¿Cómo no? no? No dije la respuesta. <ríe> ok, number two. Ha, hotel, right? So in this case, hotels are conto, right? Son contables. Entonces usamos much, many, o few, right? Además, esto es pregunta, ¿sí? Pregunta. ¿Ok? Al decirle yo que es pregunta, ya le estoy dando prácticamente la respuesta, ¿verdad? Ok, number three. Como estamos hablando de hoteles, dice, there are. Es afirmativo, miren, no es negativo, es afirmativo, ¿sí? Entonces, ¿cuál de los tres sería? ¿Cuál, cuál de los tres se puede usar en afirmativo? Uno de estos tres se usa solo en negativo. Uno de estos tres se usa en no contable. Y uno de estos tres es la respuesta, ¿va? porque se usa en afirmativo y es contable. ¿Sí? Ok, now. Public transportation. Esto es no contable. ¿Sí? Yes. Es no contable. Entonces, ¿cuál se usa para el no contable? ¿Sí? Good. And five. No, there is an. ¿Cuál de estos se usa para el negativo? Recuérdense que el non se usa en oraciones afirmativas, aunque es negativo, pero se usa gramaticalmente en oraciones afirmativas. Entonces, uno de estos es el que se usa solo en negativo. ¿Ok? Good. Any question? No. No. Ok, let's go to the next. Rewrite a scramble sentence. Scramble means desordenado, right? Bueno, aquí es algo sencillo, miren. Eh, lo que tienen que ustedes hacer es identificar cuál es el sujeto. ¿Ok? Y ustedes me van a ir diciendo, aquí sí quiero que me ayuden, ¿verdad? Vamos a ir identificando el sujeto y el verbo. Luego ponemos el sujeto y el verbo, ¿verdad? En la oración. Y luego le agregamos una expresión de tiempo. En este caso, aquí tenemos often, ¿verdad? El, este va entre el sujeto y el verbo. En la dos, 
menciona un periodo de tiempo. Uh, en esta no menciona nada, pero vamos a identificar el sujeto, ¿ok? What is the subject in the sentence number one? ¿Cuál es el sujeto en la oración número uno? Ay. Ay. En what is the verb? Watch. 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 Number two. What is the subject? You. 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 And what is the verb? Drink. 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 So it's a question, right? It's a question. Esta es una pregunta. Ok. Ok. Eh, vamos a ver. Ahora, eh, what is the subject in number three? Jeff. 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 And the, the verb? Much. No, no, Exercise. no. Exercise. Exercise. Exercise, right? Good. Aquí creo que es la, la única pista que les podría dar, porque lo, si les doy más pistas, ya prácticamente les doy la, la respuesta. Así que ustedes vayan eh, ordenando, la verdad, las, las, las oraciones aquí. ¿Ok? And to finish reading, right? Read Ruth's letter. Vamos a leer la carta de Ruth, right? Y uh, vamos a ir contestando true or false, right? She walks down Telegraph Avenue every day. Ella camina por la avenida del telégrafo, right? Todos los días después de clase. She meets her friends for coffee in the evening. Ella se encuentra con sus amigos para tomar cafecito, ¿verdad? Semitón incluido ahí. In the evening. She sometimes dances to live, to live music, sorry, to live music. Baila música en vivo, right? She is, enjoys going to San Francisco on the weekend. Ella disfruta ir a San Francisco para el fin de semana, right? A ella no le gusta eh, patinar con patines en línea, right? In line. No le gusta. She doesn't. She goes shopping or walking after lunch. Ella va este. de compras o, cami o camina después del almuerzo, right? She plays tennis with, with friends. Every Sunday. Juega tenis con sus amigos cada domingo. And she likes to watch football and basketball on TV. Le gusta ver el fútbol y le gusta ver el básquetbol. Ahora vamos a ver si es cierto todo esto. Está un poco difuso, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver si lo maximizamos. Quiero ver. Vamos a ver aquí si aún así está algo difuso. Vamos a ver si lo puedo ordenar para que lo leamos juntos. Sí, por ahí, por ahí creo que es. It says, listen, eh, dear Ted, querido Ted, Berkeley is a great city, right? Berkeley es una gran ciudad. I really like it here. Me gusta. There is always lots to do, right? Hay mucho que hacer. Every day after class, I walk down Telegraph Avenue. Todos los días después de clase, camino por la avenida Telegraph. I always like to go to my favorite coffee shop. Me gusta ir a mi coffee shop favorito in the afternoon. And meet my friends. Y encontrarme con mis amigos there for coffee in the evening. There is always something interesting to do in town. I go, siempre hay algo interesante que hacer en el pueblo, ¿verdad? Ne or near the university, right? O cerca de la universidad. For example, I sometimes see foreign movie or listen to live music. Por ejemplo... Algunas veces veo películas extranjeras y me gusta escuchar música en vivo. Me gusta escuchar, escuchar música en vivo, right? On Saturday, my friends and I usually take the bus to San Francisco. Eh, tomamos el bus para San Francisco con mis amigos for the day, right? I love the shop and restaurant. Me gusta eh, las tiendas y los restaurantes. And it's a great city for jogging or inline skating. Es una gran ciudad para salir a correr y para salir a patinar. I'm really getting good at it. Esto, me estoy volviendo buena haciendo esto. ¿no? Y esto lo hacemos en el Golden Gate Park. Okay. We always go to the Chinatown. Vamos al lugar conocido como Chinatown to have lunch. Para almorzar y luego, then we go walking and shopping in the afternoon. 
On Sundays, Sundays, sometimes I like to play tennis. Algunas veces me gusta jugar tenis con mis amigos. Or we watch a sport event. O vemos un evento deportivo como football game or basketball game. On TV, I think American football is exciting. Well, that's all for now. Take care. Hope to hear you from, from you soon. Espero escuchar de ti pronto. Good. Any question, class? ¿Hay alguna pregunta? No, teacher. ¿Todo reading? No, teacher. For oh, the moment. For no, the teacher. moment, no. no. <laughs> okay, so if you have more questions, you can ask me in the, in the, in the WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Lastimosamente, eh, Ana no se conectó ahora. Ni Brenda. Bueno. Creo que en el, en el, en el, en el chat voy a intentar responderles, ¿ok? So, no questions. Eh, class, enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your weekend. I hope you have a, an excellent Saturday and an excellent Sunday, right? Please don't drink. Don't drink. <laughs> But if you drink, invite me, please. <laughs> no, no. Okay, have okay, a good night. Teacher. Bye bye. Good night, good night teacher. Bye. Good, good, night. Good, night. <laughs> good night. Whiskey, whiskey. Okay, bye bye. <laughs>